All right, we're over at 711 Emerald Harbor Drive today. This is our brand new listing. We're super excited to show you guys, so stay tuned. So a quick overview of the layout. It's yep. an awesome split plan, which, which is great. the master's on one and the other two on the other. So three bedroom. Three full baths. So it's three bedrooms, three full baths. The guest rooms are on the right-hand side of the house. The master's in the back left-hand. Uh, so the master actually looks out over the swimming pool or the patio, the swimming pool and the water. Um, beautiful views. I mean, you, the, the huge wide lot. It's it's um, really, really a great property. So. Yep. And you've got 2288 square foot under air. Yep. And one of the awesome, well, there's a lot of features to talk about, but number one, that's the location, right? The location, so, yep. Make sure you check out our Emerald Harbor Greater Neighborhood Tour right. because we go into more detail about the area. But nice location here in the Manatee County side. And what's beautiful about this is you're on the canal. You're on the canal and this is a deep water canal that's wide. So why does that matter? Well, we were talking earlier and I, I honestly think that you'd have no problem having a boat 55, 60 feet back here. The, the, um, the draft or the, or the water level at low tide is at the very lowest tide is five and a half feet back here. So you're, as long as your draft is four and a half, you're going to be fine and plenty of room to even just spin a boat around in this canal. Something that else is great if you're a boater, you're about a block and a half up from uh, the fuel station. So you can get fuel quickly and you're about a block and a half or two blocks out and you're back in the bay and open water and, and away you go. Yeah. So the location is really incredible. If you're into boating, this is going to be a great property for you. Um, kitchen is well updated. It is. It's open. Yep. The two guest baths are, are updated. They're the, super cute too. Really, really well done. The master bath needs some updating, but not a lot. It's not, not a lot. It's, it's not terrible. It's It just needs some updating, like maybe some, some flooring and tile. And, and I'd reconfigure maybe the shower a little bit. But it's not going to be a whole renovation. It's not going to be a forty dollars or $50,000 renovation. Um, another thing that I really love about this house that's super interesting, that it looks like it's tile roof. Those are cement tiles. So that this roof has a 50 to 100 year uh, useful life on it. Ooh. So it, it is 20-ish um, years old, but you should have way more useful life than you're ever going to need. I mean, I, I, I think <laughs> the thing that I say about usually... Metal roofs and cement roofs, I usually say, these roofs will be here long after I'm gone. Yeah, maybe. So, well, so, who knows? Yeah, yeah, who knows? Well, who knows? and then you might notice, too, we've got this really nice circular drive. Yep. So you've got a standard two-car garage. Yep. But if you have regular guests or you like to entertain, yep. there's plenty of parking so they don't have to park in the street. But there is also street parking. There's street parking. And also in the back, one of the things, it is set up for entertaining. You have a large patio with a bar that has a little refrigerator underneath it. Um, plenty of space for a grill. They have a jacuzzi, a pool that looks out over the water. I mean, this house really is situated and set up. If you want to entertain and entertain quite a few people, you're going to have no <laughs> problem doing it here. By the way, I just finished measuring the lanai. It's like 10 feet by 55 feet long, yeah. and there are yeah. four lit fans. And um, you can work out there. I know the yep. owner works out there a lot, yep. and it's just it's very comfortable, especially now as we kind of head into like the right. fall season or whatever. So, yeah, it's a wonderful house. We're excited to get this on the yep. market. And before we forget, the price is. 1.895. Yep, 1.895, which which is a great price. Um, there's there's just so many great features of this house. I, I even I, I forgot to mention the boat dock um, is set up to where not only could you have a huge boat. So it's set up to where you could have a 42, 45 foot boat in there now. It also has a separate lift that you can either put another boat or jet skis on. And it has another area with a, a separate uh, lift area where you can lower kayaks into the water. Um, so, I mean, it's just really set up well, um, really well done. Not a lot needs to be done to the property. No, so easily live in, uh, move in ready, yep. live it just very comfortably. Right. You can rent it out monthly minimum. Yep. The other thing is, like we said, it's a hundred feet at the water frontage and 153 feet deep. deep. And so it's a right. 15,000, just over a third acre here. So right. As we see on a lot of these older homes, you could easily live in it or you could easily tear it down. I mean, right. I'm looking at the one across the street. It's brand new. And, yeah. You know, if you want something more elevated, this is about sure. eight to 10 feet at the baseline elevation. But 
certainly ripe for someone to come in and renovate if they want, but I really agree. you don't need to in this property, which is a wonderful opportunity. I agree. And I, I think that there's two ways to look at it. I think that if you buy this property and you're like, I'm good with the house the way it is, you're paying just a little bit over lot value for it. I mean, it really you is. The house. And, and you're getting the house <laughs> and, and quite frankly, you could use it. And if you paid the, you know, close to full ask, you're not really overpaying all that much for what a lot would be out here for a deep wide lot on a deep water canal that's set up for boating and set up for everything. So it's, I, I think it's a great opportunity either way. Um, and we love Emerald Harbor and it's just yeah. one of those neighborhoods that it reminds me of Buttonwood to some degree. Yeah, yeah. The homes are kind of a little bit off the road yep. and you know, mature landscaping. Scaping. And, and the more established neighborhood like this, this neighborhood's been here for a long, long time. Uh -huh. You know, whereas some of them, the, you know, some of the neighborhoods are newer and whatever, but like this yeah. is a more established, older neighborhood, a little older landscaping. Um, so, some really cool stuff about the landscaping here. <laughs> um, he brought in trees and different plants and different, you know, landscaping from Key West next to uh, uh, Hemingway's house. Oh, stop it. He, he brought in some of the landscaping from Matt Lachey, down where my wife and I are oh. looking right now, where we, we love the Matt Lachey area. Um, so he's they've really spent a lot of time kind of putting different stuff in here that's really interesting. So yeah, I, I think there's a lot, lot to the property. There's yeah. a lot to say. Come on inside. Yeah. Come Look at this kitchen. So the kitchen's done. Um, you know, notice that they have quartz countertops, but one of the things that I thought was really great, I see all this all the time and it really drives me crazy <laughs> when people put beautiful quartz in the, in the kitchen and they go super cheap in the bathrooms. They didn't do that here. So they have quartz countertops here in the kitchen, quartz countertops throughout all the bathrooms. All three bathrooms have quartz countertops. Um, solid wood cabinets, um, I mean, stainless steel appliances, everything's updated. So you're not gonna have to do a thing to this kitchen. Also, if you notice the flooring, these uh, ceramic tile floors are throughout. So again, there's nothing that drives me crazier than <laughs> they put this beautiful flooring in throughout the house Copy. and then or put really cheap apartment grade carpeting in the bedrooms. And you're like, why didn't you just finish the entire house? It just makes the flow bigger, like bigger, bigger. and make yep. it flow so much nicer. And you have that here. Well, your hope is when you're living here, you're going to be using your boat and the pool and the beach. Ceramic tile is the easiest thing that you can have. It's that and or you know, luxury vinyl, but honestly, I prefer to have the, the ceramic tile. It's, it's nice easy and to, cold on your feet. It's cold you on know. your feet. It's easy to you know, clean up sand and it's easy to clean up anything from the, it's just easier. So it's, it's really set up well. Um, I mean, they, they, they did a great job on the renovation. Um, and I think you'll see as we're kind of showing you around the property that, um, you know, you have, you have a lot here. It's, yeah. it's a great property. So I like the little touches. Like, of course there's fans, there's, um, yep. dimmers everywhere and there's shiplap, which is kind of a nice, yep. like Island feel. And then wait till you see the master bedroom. It is huge, huge master bedroom. Um, all of the rooms have those French doors that open yep. up to what the main living is outside Side. in Florida. Right, right. So, you know, there's so much great potential here as well as just the way it is, like right. you mentioned, and the split plan. So you have really nice separation from the master to the other two bedrooms that sure. share a full bathroom back there. Actually, no, there's two bathrooms. There's two bathrooms. Two yeah, two full, full bathrooms. bathrooms on that yeah. side. And they're totally done. And, and another thing that I really love, they used a lot of tile, and I'm sure we'll show it to you yep. as you go through. There's like, there's a little inlay that I'm looking at right now on mm -hmm. the, the right here. That's that's they tiled in. It's just really well done. Like the, the yeah. All right, so we're, we're, we're in the back area. So jacuzzi, really large pool. It is. Overlooking the water in your boat dock. So and I mean, it's just, heated. And it's heated, which is incredible. But like, I mean, you ha also have this huge patio, which I, I think that um, uh, Shayla's going to show you a, a uh -huh. clip of that. But it was just a huge entertaining space back here. And plenty of room if you wanted to entertain a lot of people. So right. um, not just in the pool, but also in the patio and the whole, whole backyard area. So again, the lot is huge. It's, it's a really large... Uh, property so right yeah. and you know even though you think okay it's florida listen having a heated pool is really really nice well we're getting ready to go into winter now well in the winter time you know yeah. there are plenty of pools that are not heated and they don't really use them during that time, unless they don't mind the cold <laughs> well i mean this so morning it was nice. I, I went walking this morning and it's it's i mean we're what a week a couple days before thanksgiving <laughs> and it was 60 degrees out so i mean you figure if it's it 60 nice. degrees outside it was really nice it was nice but would i want to be in the pool in 60 degrees no no, no chance so it's nice yeah it's a re have. really nice feature to have for sure so yeah yeah i mean it, you also the kayak launch I, I, I don't know if you can see it in the distance there but like like you have a little kayak area where you can launch kayaks. 
Um, I mean, you really do have quite a bit on this property. So, And it's nice to have the covered area. And, and again, if you've lived in Florida for yeah. a minute, you know how hot it gets, right? And to have this huge lanai, right? It's like I said, it's, right. it's the 55 foot long by about 10 feet and having those fans going. And it's honestly just really nice, a, a nice reprieve from the sun. Right. And also we've got a nice fence back here. So yep. if you do have dogs, it's no a really yep. nice feature. On, on both sides. So you're you're well yeah. fenced in. Like you, no problem if you want to let your dog out in the back. It's it's great. Yeah, right. really nice, really nice. So yeah, we hope you enjoyed this tour. We would love to answer any questions you might have about sure. the home or the neighborhood or Longboat Key in general. So we do a lot out here on the island. We love it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you uh, need to get a hold of me, feel free to reach out to me on my cell at 941-586-2460. And again, the address, 711 Emerald Harbor Drive on the Manatee County side of Longboat, Longboat Key. Key. Yep. Listed for 1.895. And you can call me anytime. Call or text for one. 544-7690. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm still subscribe. trying to build my subscribers. Give us a call. We'd love to show it to you. Thank you so much. Yeah.